Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo IdeaPad 110-17ISK also known as a model name ADVL. And in this video, I'm gonna go over how you can speed up this uh, laptop dramatically because uh, they do have a good processor, iCore 3 or iCore 5 processors, but the bottleneck in these laptops are the mechanical hard drive that they're shipped out with. As we know, the mechanical hard drives are really slow hard drives and they cannot process as fast as the normal SSD drives. So in this video, I'm going to go over how you can remove the mechanical hard drive, increase the capacity of the mechanical hard drive in case you want to go with the mechanical, or you want to replace it with a solid state drives, and how you can do that. Also remember for a note that once you replace your mechanical drive with another hard drive or solid state drive, you will not have any operating system on your new drive. So what you need, you need to create your Windows 10 USB boot drive and reinstall your Windows on the new drive. I made a video on how you can create your Windows 10 or Windows 11, they are both the same in procedure, uh, create your USB and install it on your Lenovo laptop. I'll leave those links in my video description in case you want it. If you don't know how to install it, you can follow. It literally takes up to 5 to 10 minutes with a solid state drive to install your Windows and you'll be... You, all the drivers and controllers, they come automatically installed after the Windows update. All right, the tool that we're going to be using, it's the iFixit screwdriver set. You can use any other screwdriver set, but I like these ones because they have one of the best bits out there. These are S2 class steel bit, and that means they will last you many years. We're going to use a Phillips number one. We're going to use an opening tool. If you get the pro set, you get opening tools and some tweezers. But if not, grab yourself a guitar pick. A guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. With this to one hand, obviously you will need your solid state drive. I'll recommend you with a Samsung brand. If you want to go with a cheap brand, go with an A-Data or Kingston. Those are cheap, but they won't last you as long as the Samsung can last. All right. So... Let's go ahead and open it up. On the bottom cover here, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws. We're going to start from one corner and remove all the screws. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. It's remove the screws in the middle too. So starting from one corner. Also, if you guys like my videos, if my videos are helping you guys out and you want to support the channel, you can do that by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. And it will be a tremendous uh, support and motivation for me to make more videos. Take requests answer your questions in the comment area all right now that we remove all the screws we're going to keep it in one pile because they are the same size now what we need to do we need to open it up i forgot one screw right in the front double check make sure you haven't forgot any screws so once we open it up we're going to remove the keyboard Make sure you don't press the power on key. Hold it from the middle, put the opening tool right in there, and twist it upward towards the screen, and you want to hit tiny clicks. You want to do it every two or three millimeters, I mean centimeters, and pull up the keyboard gently, and pull it from the middle up, and it's going to release the sides, bring it up towards the back, and now we're going to release the flex cable. All you need to do is pull up the, in the left right here, the lock, bring it 90 degree upward, now the flex cable won't come straight towards the screen. You have to bring it up a little bit. It has a little earlobe. So you can't pull back straight. You have to lift it up 45 degree and pull it back. So pull it up and pull it towards the screen. Gently. You don't have to force it. Now down here, there's going to be a warranty label right here. Break the warranty label. And remove this screw right there. This screw right on the bottom. They screw right by the flex cable. There should be in total three screws, right? Four screws, one right by the battery connector. Now we're gonna disconnect the battery connector, just grab the cable and pull it back. Now untangle the cable right through here, put it right in there. We're gonna close up the screen a little bit, not too much. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the opening tool right between the palm rest and the bottom cover. 
and we're gonna twist it backward towards the outside and you're gonna hear a few big clicks that's what you want to hear but those are the clicks that are getting loose do it all the way to the back corner left and right side go towards the back corner now you want to close up the screen bring it down Lift up from the front end and pull it back towards the outside and the cable will come out from here. This is where the cable for the battery goes. Well, the battery comes, the battery comes connected towards the, from here, all the way here. That's the empty caddy that you have. You don't need to disconnect that. The hard drive is right away here. This laptop doesn't have for M.2 anything like that. So it only has a SATA connector that can be connected to here. To remove the hard drive, the hard drive is being held down by a caddy. The caddy is a metal bracket that holds the hard drive in place so it doesn't move. There's four screws to it. One, two, three, four screws. Remove the four screws for the caddy. All right, once we remove the screws for the caddy, now we can slide back the hard drive so we can disconnect it from there and lift it up and bring it up. Now there's your hard drive. But the hard drive is, we need the caddy to put the new hard drive in here. It's very important that pay attention to the SATA connector and the power connector right in here. So once you put the new SSD in there, you want to put it in the same orientation that these pins are. You don't want to put it the other way around. Otherwise, it's not going to go to the jack right here. So what we need to do is to remove this two screw from this side, remove this two screw from here, and grab the metal bracket from here. Put it over on this one and put the four screw to hold this one in place. If you want to upgrade it to a bigger capacity storage, just put the bigger storage in here. All right, let's say that you got the new hard drive in. You want to bring it down in an offset position, put it all the way back. We see the screw holes. And then you want to slide it gently towards the connector. Softly, it has to go through. Once it's in there, all you need to do is to Put the four screws for the caddy to hold it in place. Even with the one screw at the back or two, that's more than enough. You don't need four screws, but these people, they always exaggerate. So yeah, put the screws in there. Now we need to put this key in the bottom cover with the battery in. So I'm going to put it in an offset position, grab the battery, push it through this hole right here. A little bit, just the, once the head goes in there, just bring the rest of the cover. I'm gonna remove this caddy, just slide it out. And now I'm gonna bring it towards myself and I'm gonna push the corners, push the side, make sure you hit those clicks. And grab this caddy right now, put it back in there. I'm gonna go ahead and put the two screws in the corner by the hinges first. So when I open it up, I don't wanna stress the hinges without having extra screws. That's very important. Now we're gonna open up the screen and we're gonna connect the battery and put the keyboard. Open it up, run the cable for the battery and bring it down straight inward right there and put the four screws right under the keyboard right here. Alright, once you got this one in here, now we're going to grab the keyboard. You want to put the keyboard in an offset position, just like that, and you want to open up the lock. You want to bring this flex cable inside the jack in 45 degree angle. Make sure the earlobes goes evenly inside. And then you want to push it towards the motherboard, hold it down, and lock it down in place. Now you want to grab it, you want to put the bottom end of the keyboard under the palm rest. Push, keep the back side with your finger like a one finger tip up and then you want to curve it down on the side push the side down hold it push this side down push that make sure that tiny clicks push the rest don't press on the power on key and now all you need to do is close up the screen and flip it upside down and put the rest of the screws back on the bottom cover and this is how you and this is how you upgrade your hard drive to a solid state drive or replace all the capacity. If you guys have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws.